in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. <laughs> Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the V to the A. I want to start off by saying a special shout out to the homie Daver from Fragrance Bros for sending me this t shirt. If you can see it here, let me tippy toe so you can see my short ass. And I didn't even know Daver was into fisting. No? That's that's not what it means. What does it mean? Oh, like, like, like the homie, like bros. I thought it was. Thank you, honey. Don't look at me like that. I'm not. There's nothing wrong with me. It's, it's about brotherhood. That's what I thought it was fisting. Damn, Daver, you got me all open and shit. I was like, yo, team fisting. Let's get to the fragrance. This fragrance is another one that I bought from the house of Ajmal. One that a lot of y'all motherfuckers are like, yo, have you smelled it? You should buy this. It's mad cheap. Get it. So, of course, like an asshole, and I've been blind buying crazy since I'm demonetized from YouTube almost 90%, might as well just continue to spend money. And the fragrance that I spent a couple of bucks on, which was in a complete drain, was none other than Ajmal Blue. This is a funky little bottle. It's fucking thin, tall, long, like my schlong. This is a nice fragrance. It's a horrible time to buy this fragrance because it's getting chilly in New York and this is a super summertime fragrance. For me, if you live in the hot weather, 24 hours, seven days a week, 395 days of the year, then this is a fragrance for you because this is definitely summertime vibes. Now, what I did notice from this, it has a really super, super, super bright, sweet melon note, which reminds me a lot of Abercrombie and Fitch's gems. Now, although it has a similarity to Abercrombie and Fitch, I believe it's fierce. However, I wouldn't exactly say that it's the fucking carbon copy. This is very good. And I feel this is a little stronger on my skin than AB Fierce, personally. I don't know, Ajmal's just been doing things lately to my body that just make me all excited. Ajmal, listen, I'm fucking with you. I, I like I like your stuff. Lately, all I've been smelling is good shit from Ajmal. I don't know if it's, you know, maybe I'm just on the Ajmal train right now. I'm not understanding, but I'm enjoying. This has a really nice watermelony melon note. Very aquatic, very sweet, but also has a nice deep lavender. Very nice and soothing lavender. So you got melon and lavender opening, definitely aquatic, a little bit salty. The lavender is definitely present there on top, so it's watermelon and lavender right off top. And a little bit of sprinkled sea salt on top of that shit. You definitely have that summertime vibe, it's definitely got great aquatic value to it. It's definitely fun, if you put your nose a little bit close to it, you get a little bit of a hmm smell to it, a little hmm. But it doesn't last very long, it could be just my skin, I haven't showered in a couple of days. But the performance for this joint as a freshie was 6 hours, which is pretty decent for a cheap ass freshie. I think this shit was under 30 bucks, so I can't be pissed at that, can I? Could be a little younger, AB Fierce is a little bit younger, but this could be on the younger side, so I think it has a little bit of versatility for my youthful audience, which is not many, but any of y'all young bucks ready to fuck, ready to go to the club with a little after work party or teen night or college, 18 a party, 21 a drink crowd, I don't even know if that's a thing, I'm an old motherfucker. Y'all definitely gonna fuck with this shit, I think it's dope, it's cheap. Again, it was like around under 30 bucks. I got it from Max Aroma. I paid for the shit. They didn't send it to me. And I really like this shit. I don't know, man. I'm trying to find an Ajmal that I don't fucking like because all the ones that I've smelled are wrong point. There's not much I can say about this fragrance. Lavender, watermelon, citrusy, bright, youthful, similar to Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, but not really. It can set apart itself. The performance for me on my skin was better than AB Fierce and it's Ajmal, son. Ajmal's been producing hits from what I've been smelling, so why hate on it? If it ain't broke, don't fucking fix it. Ajmal Blue, for all you dirtbags who were recommending this shit to me, I appreciate it, because this shit is dope. Have y'all motherfuckers smelled this, or what other Ajmal? Because I'm kind of Ajmal hype right now. So what other Ajmal do I need to get my hands on? Because I might just blind buy the shit right now. Is this a ball sprayer? Yeah, I don't even know why I put the cap on. God damn it. It's, you know, it's not an aggressive taint sprayer, but it's definitely a ball sprayer. Let's give it a ball spray, shall we? Let's go. Youthful, melon, lavender, silky, soft, salty, citrusy, aquatic, not complicated, not revolutionary at all, decent performance for a freshie, and cheap as fuck. What else do you fucking want? I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Thanks again, David, for fisting me. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? It's the biggest in the fucking game, bringing you cheapies and blind buys all fucking month of, what are we in? September, August still, whatever. Smooches.